Welcome back. For the last couple of months, meteorologist Laura Hartman has been showing us fun ways to learn about science. And in fact, she has one final experiment for us. She's teaching us how to make a sugar snake. Check it out. Well, with the weather being so nice this week, we're taking our science experiment outdoors. I've got some ingredients that you'll need to assemble. You'll need some adult supervision as well. Today, we are making a sugar snake. You'll need some sand in a dish, a lighter, some heat protective gloves and safety goggles, a fire extinguisher, some lighter fluid, baking soda, powdered sugar, and a glass jar. First, you'll want to mix your ingredients. We have baking soda and powdered sugar. You'll need a one to four ratio. Today, I'm using one eighth of a cup of baking soda and a half a cup of powdered sugar. I mix them in a bag, they're ready to go. Next, we'll pour some of our lighter fluid into a container. This way, if it catches on fire, it is protected in the glass as opposed to a more flammable container. Next, we're going to pour that lighter fluid into the middle of our sand and then take our baking soda and powdered sugar and pour that right on top. So that was pretty cool. On a less breezy day, you'll have more of an extended or elongated sugar snake to see. How does this all work? Well, the baking soda, well, that starts to break down and it produces carbon dioxide gas, which gets trapped in the carbonate that the sugar produces when that breaks down. So the two together expand and produces our sugar snake. Find more experiments at 13onyourside.com. Laura, I have loved your experiments over the last several weeks. I feel like I've learned so much. Oh, um, this one, you had kind of mixed results, and mm -hmm. part of that is due, in fact, to the weather conditions, right? Well, I'm going to blame it on that. Sure. I think <laughs> some of it was just, it was breezy. I could see some of the snake just, like, shooting off from the wind. Uh, our producer was like, where's the snake? <laughs> it should have looked a lot better than that. So we have a link to a better results uh, experiment on the website so you can see what it should have looked like. But did you ever get those little, um, they were they would come in fireworks packs and they were the same thing. You would light them, they'd be like little black dots or so. You'd light them and you'd get a tiny little snake out of it. Sure. So this is kind of the same thing. It is. Yeah. Well, I, Laura, looking back, which experiment was your favorite? Because we have them all on our website, oh right? Oh my gosh, I love so many of them. I think I like the walking rainbow one the best because yes. visually it was just so cool to see it happen. Oh, love thank you one. for sharing these with yeah. us. It's been really interesting and fun to see.